Hello guys, this is a little guide to the Philips Blu-ray disc DVD player. That's what it looks like. This is the model number. And that's what it looks like when it turns on. And it plays Blu-ray and DVD, so let's take this out. Close the lid. It's on the way to shut it off. And it's just like that. Plug it in. All I need, it does not come with an HDMI cord, so you have to get one unless you already have one. This is in a high definition HDMI cord that I have because of my computer, but now it's got another use. And this one is not the Wi Fi version, they have Wi Fi versions now. And if your TV is not smart, um, then they have these. And this was about $49 at Walmart. And on Amazon, I found the same exact one for like almost $140. And I'm like, that, that is bizarre. It's a basic Blu ray DVD player from Philips. What's so special about that? Blu ray is not even really that new anymore. So, we are going to turn it on. If my camera will focus. Focus, my friend, focus. There it goes. So now you just press this. And then TV will respond. And this is the loading screen. There is nothing in there. And you'll need two AAA remote. Two AAA batteries. This is the remote that comes with, so you have to buy the batteries as well. Unless you have AAAs at home. You can plug in a USB. Got to point at the DVD player. And then you can go to settings. It is already at normal, but you can um, change it if you want to crop. Or, let's see here. There's HDMI, which is at auto, so basically go whatever it needs to. It has noise reduction, which right now it is off. And then it's got audio. It's got a night mode. And it's on auto right now, so everything is basically on auto. <coughs> Preferences. Everything in English, because I speak English. And it looks like there is a screen saver, which is it's on. He says it's on. Five minutes in activity. Advanced. It's got software update, so I probably have to get a CD for it. Did not come with that. And you can do voice guide. If you can't, I guess, see very well or whatever, but it has a voice guide on it to help you out. Go to the home button. Or I guess go to the back button. And we're going to pop in Cars 3. And I have the Blu-ray version because I usually get the Blu-ray and DVD because they have the digital included and sometimes they're cheaper to do it that way. So we put it in there just like so. And then there's three buttons. Up, oh, the button in the middle is your plane pause. This is to take the disc out and put the disc in. Boop, disc going in. Let's see what it looks like when it goes. Turn the lights off. This is a 32 inch smart Samsung TV. Checking. Just checking. I don't know why it's checking for USB when it's a movie. Oh, it said it's ready. It's loading. And yes, we want English. Englishy, okay, so the OK button is right there. Make sure it's pointed at DVD player, of course. And it's loading. Loading, loading, loading. We'll turn this back on. And we'll go to. Stay tuned for exciting previews. Press the top menu or the pop menu. So we'll press the top menu. Hang on, let me. Oh, wait, it's probably because I'm already there. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like. What is set up? Let's try set up here. Set up. Nope. Wait, what's maximizer? I'm curious. This is my first ever Blu ray player. Let's see what it is. Get the most out of your home theater by connecting callings all. Never mind. So let's go back. Top menu. And to press the top menu. Play. And then let us do options. Oh, look at that. It's so tiny, we're going to fix that. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, we don't want it that small. It's very tiny right now, and I don't want it to be very tiny. So we're going to go to home. And we are going to fix that problem to see if it'll work. So settings. Normal. You don't want normal. TV display. HDMI. It's on auto. We want it to squeeze. Just squeeze. When playing, the picture is displayed in the center of the 69th screen with a 4 3 aspect ratio. Let's try squeeze. Let's try noise reduction. On high. We'll go back. Nope. We'll go home. Home. The disc. We'll see if it'll fix itself. So yeah, this is a installation and setup of uh, getting to know your Philips DVD slash Blu-ray player presented from presented with Cars 3. Go. Oh. Top menu. I wonder. See your settings. Picture size, standard. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, we can fit the screen now. Okay, let's see here. Nope. Go away. Okay. Angle it just right. Would you like to continue where it left off? Yes, please. How come DVDs never like this? You just resume it. That's somewhat better. Settings. Standard. Auto. On. Right. Oh, Ooh, custom, it's custom. Let's see how good it is. Focus, 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 focus. Looks a little bit better. All right, and there you have it a nine minute introduction for the Philips Blue Leap DVD player, how to set it up, and how to get a movie going. Bye bye.